What's up, YouTube? I'm King Shanks, and this is Droids Finest, and I am back with Call of Cthulhu, Part 18. I know everybody I was gone for about a week. I had some friends staying with me, and uh, we were just getting caught up. I haven't seen them in a while, so didn't really have any time to uh, really get any recording done. But let's get back into this. Pierce's brain is now inside of uh, what's her face that one that looks like an actress that I can't figure out who I think it's Jennifer Garner but I'm not sure I'm not a hundred percent sure but that's what I think and while we're loading this I wanted to point out there's a lot of animal cruelty <laughs> in this game uh, I don't condone it especially shark finning I think that's one of the worst things on the face of the earth so yeah that's why whenever I see the dead orcas and sharks there, I kind of just, ugh, ugh, ugh. I mean, seriously, why would you catch a shark, cut off its fins, and throw it back in the water to drown? Asshole moves. Anyways. So yeah, I'm back in the mental hospital. That much I remember. And I bet I'm going to have to do sneaking around again. Some stealthy moves. Going to need to take a minute to catch up on the controls. I'm pretty sure I remember all of them, but I'll just do a quick look at all the controls and I'll figure it out probably in a couple of seconds. Wow. Come on and load. Yeah, sorry everybody. Normally the game loads up a bit quicker, but it hasn't I haven't turned it on in about a week, so I gotta apologize about that. I would read this again, but I know I already did. Oh yeah. What's what was the girl's name that his body's in now? I can't remember. Huh. What a weird situation. I think I'm I'm about halfway through this game, but I'm not... Don't quote me on that. I actually seriously don't know. I'm not sure how long this game is. But the thing about this game is the endless replayability. I mean, there's tons and tons of endings from what I, from what I read about the game when I first bought it. Every decision that you make changes the outcome of everything, so... It's a really cool game, and I love the graphics. I can't compliment this game forever. This is taking over three minutes to load now. Jesus. Let's get going. So I can have something to talk about, and some of the characters have some stuff they need to talk about. Let's go. Damn. These cockamamie bastards. <laughs> Let's get into it. And, I, and I've noticed that a lot of people have been liking and watching these videos, so that's pretty cool. It's not the most uh, viewed videos. Actually, uh, Mental Hospital 5 is my most viewed uh, game of all time. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Well, that's great. I hate that, actually, but okay. Okay, regarding the patient, examine the patient. Has he been drugged? Call Dr. Fuller. I'm going to examine the patient, believe it or not. That's what I would probably do. Very well. I'll examine him. Um, right, so... Oh, they're all medical. Okay. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. 
He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. Uh, I think he drank too much. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. <sighs> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. Radio. 30 year old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palubral tissue. Lord, this smell. So, doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You are a most worthy doctor after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? He has nothing in his belly. His state of limbs are worrisome. He's been severely dehydrated. Huh. Hmm. I guess I'll go with severely dehydrated. Oh, he has something in his belly. Okay, yeah. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. Oh, I can do all of these? Cool. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. And he's severely dehydrated. I see dehydrated. signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. Oh, none of that can be good. Oh, none of this is good. He's changing into one of those half human, half, half octopus sons of bitches. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, but his body is undergoing unnatural mutations, and this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cohen, may I know what you are doing to my patient? No. What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? These symptoms are worrisome. I've never seen anything like this. You're turning him into a monster. I've never his seen anything limbs, like this. His body temperature? I don't know what experiments you've undertaken, but this is going too far. Oh, I sense some excitement beneath your indignation. Could it be you wish to join me in my scientific endeavors? 
You are a brilliant physician, Dr. Fuller, but this man, this man has the attributes of some kind of animal. Fascinating. An animal you say. Would you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. This amuses you. You mentioned us. I know you're thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Is that a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Hidden files are proof. Nobody mentioned crimes for now. Stay out of this. Ah, right, let's go right for the oh, files. That evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I need to find the missing medical files. And where would you find those? In his office. What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. Alrighty then. Ugh. Oh god, I forgot about how sensitive the controls are. Alright, what am I doing? Okay, so that's Duck, okay. Lean, lean. Counting machine. Alright, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to sneak around here. But, right, for now I got free roam. Let's free roam all the shit out of this. Ah, I found something. This place draws you in and never lets you go. Well, that's cheerful. But, that's the truth about work. <laughs> Chronic insomnia. Like half the island. I don't know exactly which way to go, so I guess I'm gonna look in, yeah, all the medical files and stuff here first. Hay fever. What's he doing here? Doctor, please, uh, my chest. Oh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Nurse? Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Mm -hmm. So at least I'm doing stuff to help, I guess. I don't know. I'm almost out of time already because that took forever. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? What happened up there, bootleggers? Tell me about it another time. No. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. I know I've got to get to Fuller's office, because that's clearly Why did nobody tell me about her admission? The file describes the state in which Irene Sanders entered the Riverside Institution as well as the treatments administered to her. 
Fuller added a handwritten note. He recommends to take her down to the psychiatric wing in order to provide her with the quiet and rest she needs. I'm sure that's what it'll do. 100%. Mrs. Sanders? Yeah, she's in a medically induced coma, I think. Okay, so I'll go down, and then I guess I'll wrap around. Okay, wait, what? More sleeping pills, I assume? She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Ooh. This Fuller's office? Am I here? What is the boiler room key doing here? Well, why don't the I take key it? The boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. Okay. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. <laughs> Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Oh, can't get anything there. Or here. No. Nothing? Give me something. Okay, whatever. Okay, so I guess in the next episode I'll go to Fuller's office. Can't really do it right now. I'm out of time. But yeah. The game for now. I've got to end it. I'll be back. Well, <laughs> you'll see it tomorrow, but I'll be back right after this. Anyways, stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Peace!